Why do we always say pants instead of pant? What's the real history behind the word that being plural? It's one of those quirks of the English language that kind of baffles the mind when you stop and think about it. And trust me, it's not the only one. English is essentially a linguistic Frankenstein's monster, stitched together from various other languages over centuries. The word pants traces back to pantaloons, which were a type of tight-fitting men's trousers popular in the 19th century. Pantaloons originally referenced a character named Pantalone, from the Commedia dell'arte, a theater form that was all the rage in Europe in the 17th century. Pantalone was often depicted wearing, you guessed it, characteristically long, tight trousers. Now here's where things get interesting. The pantalone trousers covered both legs separately, much like our modern pants. They were considered as a pair of tubes for your legs, hence they were pluralized. When you think about it, other items of clothing that cover two appendages typically get the same treatment. Shorts, gloves, and shoes, for instance. As for why we've stuck to the plural, well, consistency hasn't always been a key feature of lexical evolution. But once certain patterns are set in a language, they tend to self-perpetuate. We feel normal saying pants because that's what's been passed down to us. If we started saying pant, it would feel incomplete, like we're only dressing one leg at a time. And while some might argue that the pair logic doesn't hold water since we don't say shirts for a shirt, considering it covers two arms, language isn't about logic. It's about usage. The exceptions are as much a part of the language as the rules. I don't know about you, but when I'm in Portland, Oregon, browsing through the quirky boutiques in the Pearl District, or vintage shops on Hawthorne, looking through racks of denim, you better believe I'm on the hunt for a pair of pants that feel just right. After all, each leg deserves its fair share of comfort. From the Golden Gate Park hippies to the hipsters of Portland, we've all acquiesced to this linguistic oddity. And it feels just as natural as throwing on a warm jacket on those rainy Pacific Northwest days. So when we say pants, it's a throwback to the past, a reminder of how fashion and theater can leave a linguistic legacy. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's the idiosyncrasies in language that make it rich, textured, and occasionally a bit comical. Just like a good pair of pants.